Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave. Today we're going to go in a little bit different direction. We're going to take a look at Tesla. What's happened with Tesla over the years and what they might be doing in the future. So stick around. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know that you're enjoying my videos. Elon Musk was not the founder of Tesla. There were actually two men, one named Mark Tarpening and the other Martin Eberhard. In 1997, these two men formed a company called Nuvo Media. The company actually designed and manufactured e-readers or e-books called the Rocket e-book. They were similar and some say better than the Amazon Kindle. These e-books were sold through Barnes and Nobles for about $500 each. And in 1999, they sold a total of 20,000 units for around $10 million. This caught the eye of TV Guide Company. They ended up purchasing the company in 2000 for about $187 million. After the sale of the company, the two partners wanted to find something they could do with this money. Not only that, but Martin had just gotten divorced. And he was looking for a sports car. Yes, a sports car. But he wasn't interested in one of those fast gas guzzlers. He wanted something economical, but nice looking and fast. They were interested in oil and gas production, thinking maybe getting involved in that, they could find an alternative fuel, something they were both interested in. After a bit of research, they determined that no oil-based product would work for reducing oil consumption. They looked into ethanol, and that was no better. They also spent time looking at hydrogen fuel and hydrogen fuel cells. They determined the price of producing the hydrogen could in the long run actually cost more than the cost of producing oil or gas. At that point, they started looking into electric. Electric cars were very limited at the time, but they still were available to buy on the market. They were small, slow, had a very short range, and not to mention unattractive looking. Most of them were pretty unappealing for most people. When they were designing their ebook, there was a lot of time spent learning and researching lithium ion batteries. They needed to find a way that they could increase the runtime on their ebooks. So they were thinking they could use the same technology for electric cars to increase their range. This was the starting point. If they could make an electric car that had a good range, was fast, and had a look that people liked, they felt they probably could sell them. The original plan was to produce a sports car, one that would appeal to low volume but high end car buyers. They ended up making a deal with Lotus to use the body of the Lotus Elite sports car and make it into an all electric car. At this point, the only thing holding them back was capital. They started looking for investors, and along came Elon Musk. He had just sold PayPal to eBay for $165 million and was looking for some place to invest that money. Looks like maybe his first stop was at a hair club for men. After an initial introduction, it was decided that Elon would invest $7.5 million into Tesla. So they started making the car a reality. But by the time the car was completed in July of 2006, there was actually less than 10% of the Lotus parts left on the car. So it wasn't really a Lotus at all. It was now a Tesla Roadster. Once they could debut the car, they put it up for pre-sale. It was originally offered at $100,000, but Tesla had no trouble finding buyers. After the first two weeks, they had sold 127 cars, even though the cars would not even be available for delivery until 2008. At this point, Elon's investment had actually risen to over $70 million, this is when the initial problem started between Martin, Mark, and Elon. As anyone may know, if you've ever had a partner, the one that invests the most money in the company has the most to lose, and in most cases require things to be done to protect their investment. Most of the time these are hard on the initial investors, and in this case, the founders. So in 2007, Elon and the original founders, Martin and Mark, 
parted ways, and Elon took the reins of Tesla. The Roadster was released in 2008, and by 2012, 2,450 Roadsters were sold worldwide for $109,000 each on average. At this point, everything was going great for Tesla. So Elon decided it was time to take the next step and move to the next model vehicle. So in 2012, Tesla debuted the Model S. This was a luxury car with 920 foot-pounds of torque and offered speeds of 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. By the time production started, they were only producing about 15 cars a week. But with Elon at the helm, he was able to ramp that up to over 1,000 cars per week by 2015. The Model S sold for $57,000 for the low end and $88,000 for the high end vehicle. Then, in 2015, Elon came out with the Model X. This car offered gull wing doors on the back, offered speeds of 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The Model X received over 30,000 pre orders before production started. These were all pretty amazing vehicles, being all the high end technology that was offered with them. With all the success of the Model S and Model X, it was now time for a family vehicle. So in 2017, Elon introduced the Model 3. Tesla was becoming so desirable that they received 325,000 pre-orders in the first week. And by July, Elon announced they were manufacturing over 5,000 cars per week. The Model 3 actually became the best-selling car of 2018 selling at between 42,000 and 60,000 each depending on the model. The Model 3 offers 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds on the high performance version. And if that wasn't enough, just for the fun of it, as we all know, Elon in 2018 launched his original Tesla Roadster into space and headed toward Mars. That has to be the biggest and best advertising campaign ever. Now we have Tesla's newest car, the Model Y, a compact sedan, has the seating capacity for up to seven people, and was unveiled in March of 2019. They started delivery in January of 2020. The Model Y is selling for between 53000 and 61000 This car is to have a 300-mile range with a speed of 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. So what else does Tesla and Elon have in store for us? Well, they wanted to release the newest Roadster in 2020, but now that doesn't look like it's going to happen until 2021. Back in November of 2019, Elon took the stage to debut the Cybertruck, which happens to be my favorite of the Tesla models. And incidentally, I do have a pre-order for one of these. The truck will be offered with three models. The base version of the Cybertruck with a single motor will start at 39,900, good for 250 miles of range. It'll have a tow rating of 7,500 pounds and a 0 to 60 time of 6.5 seconds. Next in line is a dual motor. Running at 49,000, this version can tow 10,000 pounds and reach 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It'll have a range of around 300 miles. At the top of the line model, It'll run around 69,900. It'll have a range of more than 500 miles between charges. It's said that this model will be able to do 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. So, where will Tesla take us in the future? Elon already has shown us the Cyber Quad, and they have the Tesla Semi coming up soon that will not only offer savings on fuel, but possibly offer autonomous driving. This will save millions per year in labor costs to the transportation companies. This is one I have a little mixed emotions about, as it will eliminate large portions of the labor industry by doing away with the truck drivers. But I guess the future is the future. Tesla is likely to offer autonomous taxis and possibly even an upgraded software for Tesla owners to allow the Tesla owners to offer their vehicles for the service to earn extra money with their Tesla when it's not being used. And last but not least, what about an electric Tesla vertical takeoff and landing cyberjet? That's always a possibility, and Elon's talked about it in the past. So let me know where we're going in the future with Tesla, 
Give me your thoughts in the comments below. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. I want to thank each and every one of you. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.